Hey everyone, Trey Amick from Magnet Forensics here. Today we're talking about Mac USB investigations and what happens when your team is alerted that a USB has been inserted into an endpoint. Different organizations handle USB policies differently in that some have alerting mechanisms in place for when USBs are detected, while others may encrypt the drive when it's inserted into the endpoint. Other organizations may block the external drive from being mounted altogether, or may only allow specific external drives to be used by employees. Lastly, we have some organizations that tell staff or associates it's against policy to use USBs, but don't take any additional steps to further protect the endpoint. The different avenues all have merit, but depending on the organization, you may be faced with identifying a USB that's been inserted into a Mac in question for possible data exfil. This investigation hinges on possible insider threat activities where the associate may have attempted to copy files to a USB. Here we have a MacBook Air image already processed in Axiom. We're going to go ahead and check the OS information so we can identify that for our report by going to the artifacts view. We'll navigate on down to operating system and we will look for operating system information. This we can confirm that it's 10.14.4. I'm going to go ahead and add this as a tag. But since this case hinges on USB information, I'm actually going to keep scrolling down and we're going to start with the USB connection history with 235 hits. Now that we can see all the different USB connections and with there being 235 hits, which seems rather high, we're going to actually try and identify some of this information. And right off the bat, I'm seeing a lot of the same vendor ID codes here with 0x5ac. So I want to be able to identify that. So there's nobody saying that we can't use open source intelligence gathering methods for our investigations. So I'm actually going to use a website to detect what that information is for that vendor information. And as we can see here, that is actually coming back to Apple with a lot of their different uh, product information pieces. So now that we've confirmed that, we know all, a lot of these hits are actually coming from Apple. But let's go ahead and we're going to sort now on the serial number. I'm going to go ahead and get all of them grouped together. And now that we do that, we can start identifying what's going on here. So these first three, we're getting the exact same serial number, vendor ID, product information. And this organization in particular allows their employees to use one specific drive. And I'd be willing to bet that's gonna be this drive, but just like we did before, we can check on that by using the same database and loading it in. And as we can see, sure enough, it is a GTEC Western Digital hard drive. So that go ahead and we can validate that they are using that drive on this machine and that's been approved by their organization. Next though, as we look through the list here, we see a couple additional uh, pieces to this USB history and we can see here that we've got a couple identifiers here uh, that we need to kind of identify what's going on. So the next one we're going to take a look at is the 984 uh, that's on the list from 415. And when we go back to the same database, we can actually look and see that this is coming back to an Apricorn uh, SATA wire 2.5 inch. Now, this tells me that this validates uh, what was found in the IT system, that this machine was used uh, and dropped off and IT did support this machine on 415. And I was able to identify this information using the same uh, ID database, but then I further looked at it and sure enough, there is the uh, cable that the IT personnel uses. Lastly, on this list, we can see there's one additional hit, and I want to go ahead and confirm that. And when I do that, I can see that this is a Seagate drive, which is typically used for IT for this particular organization. So those I'm good with, and I understand what's going on. But as we keep looking down now, we see we have the 06990C uh, with a product ID of uh, X1000. So one last time, we're going to actually look at this database, and when we do that, we can actually see this is coming back to a silicon motion, uh, formerly of a different company, and that these are USB disk and flash drives, uh, looking at the same vendor information and product ID. So from here, let's go ahead and dig a little bit further into what's going on here. This has happened on 426, approximately around the time we got that alert. We do have a serial number, so that's good. But let's actually go over to the right-hand side uh, of Axiom now and build a quick relative time filter off this information. So actually, let's go ahead and change this from two minutes, let's actually say three minutes, and let's keep our view in the current explorer, and let's see everything that happened on this machine within three minutes before or after this USB being connected. From here, we've got some more information we can look at. So let's go ahead and hop over to File System Events, or FS Events. From here, there's a couple of different options we can do. I'm actually gonna build a quick filter off of flags, and I'm going to go ahead and say mount. 
So now we're looking for mount points that are within three minutes before or after uh, that original uh, USB being connected. And as I can see here, we've got several pieces here. Now, typically these are probably going to be coming from DMGs that are being mounted on the machine. Now we've identified an additional volume called Untitled. So let's see if we can take that a little bit further and figure out what's going on there. So I'm actually gonna go ahead and kill this first filter on the mount points. And next, I'm actually gonna go ahead and reset my relative time filter. We're gonna scroll right back down though and look under operating system and let's look one last place. Let's actually go on down and we've already looked at USB connection information. We've already looked now at the uh, file system events. Let's look at volume information here. And from the volume information page, we can see we've got a bunch of different volumes being listed here, uh, including the G uh, drive that we've already identified as what they use and are allowed to use in this organization. But sure enough, we do see this untitled volume name one more time. Now, one thing I love about Axiom is that you can really dig in deep. And wh what I mean by that is we can actually go over to the evidence information and click on the source link, which is gonna take us to the Apple Finder plist. We're gonna let Axiom load this in very quickly. We have that plist selected, so I'm actually gonna expand that information out. And sure enough, right off the bat, we can see recent move and copy destinations. We have a file volumes untitled. So this is telling me something was connected. We have the FS events to back that up. We are good to go that we have identified more likely than not what set off that original alert. From here, finish our report on this investigation and then decide uh, with investigations if we need to interview the associate and possibly locate that USB to identify what was uh, potentially placed on that. Thanks for joining today and as always if you have questions or would like to see additional features added to Axiom, please don't hesitate to reach out. Thanks, have a great day.